Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Drew. I wanted to come at you again with some more of the stuff that's coming out of my brain. All right. So this is an oldie but a goodie. Something that really means a lot to me. Something that I, I truly believe in. So what I'm going to talk about today is about who you surround yourself with. Because it's something that is very important. And I think it's something people might overlook. Maybe you don't overlook. Maybe you think you're trapped. I mean, there's all kinds of reasons for who you surround yourself with and why. Um, but as you develop your mindset into a more positive mindset, you want to take a look at who's around you. And this is something that I've written and I've shared with people. They've appreciated it. Um, I know I reread it every now and then because I, I it impacts me. Like I, I impacted myself with the, the way I was able to articulate to myself how I feel about this um, and like I said when I write something down it frees it up from my mind so like it's in there but now I don't have to I, I have something to reference and I do reference it um, so like I said this is this is all about my reflection about who you surround yourself with all right surrounding yourself with the right people for you is amazingly impactful putting these pieces in place is not easy however Starting with realizing those you've surrounded yourself with may not be supporting you on your journey to the goals you've set for yourself. This step requires you know your ultimate goal, of course, or it won't matter who you're surrounded by. You've got no destination to be derailed from. If you do have this piece of the puzzle and are then able to honestly evaluate your personal inner circle, I hope you find people who you can share your dreams with and they'll offer themselves to you in support of your pursuits. If that's not what you find, then you've got a difficult choice to make. Your dream or your relationships with these people. It sounds simple when jotted down on a screen and laid down so nice and neat, but as humans are complicated creatures with feelings and emotions. We give some people infinite grace for not being a positive because we've been taught this from a young age. Not to exclude people, play nice with others, don't be judgmental. The evaluation of the inner circle may feel like a violation of those principles, especially when you identify a candidate that needs to be removed. I say removed or replaced intentionally because, in my opinion, if they're a negative addition, removing them will at the very least reset you to zero. And zero is better than negative. Once you've actually started this process, what I've also found is you're now open and inviting to the addition of positive people into your circle. And this openness acts like a magnet and you begin attracting positiveness towards you. Don't wait for a new position to remove an old negative. Reset at zero and just have a roster spot open when the right person comes into your life and fulfills those requirements to be in your circle. How can you evaluate someone in your circle and determine if they're positive, negative, or neutral? Okay. Identify the five people you spend the most time with, whatever the means are, online, in person, text, text, et cetera. Whoever they are, these five are where you're spending the only real currency that exists, your time. Do they know your goal? Do they understand its importance to you? Do they encourage you? Not in everything though. You want someone who's got your best interest at heart so that they've got the ability to voice a concern if you were to say you're going to devote your life to painting dogs, weaving baskets underwater. Now, I'm sure there is a very specific scenario where doing that makes all the sense in the world, but in the world I live in, I'd much rather have someone tell me to reconsider that path, okay? Now, do they have anything to offer you that will help you achieve your goal? Do you have anything to offer them? The ideal relationship you have with your inner circle would be mutually beneficial. It's not about keeping score, though. But it's hard to make the math work in support of proving someone is supportive of you when they take more than they give. 
Keep in mind that most people's personal perspectives themselves is much different than almost everyone else's. And generally, people view themselves as someone people should appreciate. It's just human nature. The counter for this is the ability to communicate. Can you tell someone in your inner circle your thoughts, feelings, emotions, and have them be receptive to them in a constructive way and not take them as an attack on them? Nobody wants to be told they're not good enough. If you give them the grace of sparing their feelings, you're trading away your ability to advance towards your goals as effectively and efficiently as possible. And if you do this enough times, you're going to find yourself with no progress or even backwards progress. You're probably even going to be supportive of their goals and helpful in their advancement towards their goals. You're definitely in their five, but them being in yours has cost you your own progress. And people in your current inner circle who may not meet the attributes you're looking for to be in your top five eventually become someone who does meet the entry requirements? The tough but true answer is probably not. This is all my opinion and it's all up for debate and perspective. Um, the moment you have to ask someone to feel a certain way, in this case, to feel more interest in being a positive contributor to your dream and advancement, it loses its genuineness. It didn't come from a natural place. It wasn't organic. So it's always going to have an asterisk next to it because you had to ask. The results may be exactly what you're looking for, though, and that asterisk may quickly disappear. Maybe they just needed you to help them understand your goal so that they could then develop that true positive supportive position. It's possible. But again, in my opinion, when you're passionate about something as big as a goal for your life, it should be pretty obvious to them if they were paying attention, right? All right, how much dead weight are we carrying with us out of some outdated sense of loyalty? People change. We change. Just because someone has been there a while, they shouldn't have their roster spot guaranteed just because of that. These five roster spots should be highly coveted, so treat them as such. Constantly evaluate that those sitting in those roster spots are the best ones for the job. If a change or removal needs to be made, remember that this is about you living out your dream and your loyalty should be to your dream, not theirs. The position you'll be in once you achieve your goals will be a much better one to help others reach theirs. Blaze the path and then you can lead others down it. So that's how I feel about who you surround yourself by. There's a lot of positivity out there and there's a lot of people who want to help you. And those are the people you should really gravitate towards. Um, another thing I want to throw in there is a lot of people don't realize, like if you sit in front of the TV like six hours a day, say you're, you're binging Rick and Morty, you know, seasons one through six. I've seen them all. Yeah, I understand that. If that is a majority, like one of the top five things that you do, Rick and Morty are in your top five. And then you gotta ask yourself, do they know that you're even watching? Like they're they're not even really cartoons, so of course they don't. How can they support you in your pursuits? You know what I mean? So turn off the TV, find some people, even if you have to interact like this with them. Do chat if it's if it's if it's positive, if it's supportive, it's helping you get from A to B. That's that's who you want to surround yourself by. But like I said, it, it's a magnet. Like once you get that positive vibe out in the world, like just positivity seems to just like gravitate towards you. That's that's one of my reasons for wanting to push all this stuff out to like help other people be positive because I, I I need it. I need my own positivity to be returned to me. 
Um, so I appreciate you taking the time to listen to another one of my theories. Hopefully you took something away from it. So this means a lot to me. Hopefully it'll 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 register something, inspire something in you. If you didn't agree with parts, that that's fine too. I'm 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 willing to discuss it. It not a perfect reflection by any means. It's just what's come out of my head. Um so again, thanks. Hit them buttons down there. All the all them buttons. Just 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 hit them all. All right. This is Drew. Peace out.